America. Focusing on trauma and substance abuse recovery programs, inmates are provided opportunities that they never had access to before. We are joined by Lyle Howry and Jason Rainwater from A Prisoner's Path, who are in town to shoot at Orleans Parish and Juvenile Detention Center this week. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So for anybody who's not familiar, tell me a little bit about A Prisoner's Path and, and kind of what you're trying to capture. So we came up with this concept, obviously, back in my earlier years, I was a troublemaker and spent some time inside. So throughout the years, I was, became pretty successful uh, in the film business um, and, and television business along with Jason. And we decided that we wanted to do something instead of all the drama of shows, because we, we, we would talk to networks and stuff of that nature, and they'd say, you know, we want like one of these drama type they want something that exaggerates things and well, makes it Yeah, dramatic. exactly. Some of it's scripted, some, you know, whatever. So we decided we didn't want to go down that road, and everybody was against us. They're like, oh, you'll never get a deal. I'm like, oh, it doesn't matter. It'll be a passion project for us. So mm -hmm. we went ahead, and I went ahead and financed everything, and um, we decided to show the audience or people the other side of these prisoners, of that they're human, that everybody makes a mistake. I mean, you have Robert Downey Jr. that was in prison, you got John Penn that was in prison, but you never hear anything about all that. But it was big deal back in the day, right? So these people are just like they are, but they everybody need a second chance a also, yeah. right? These are nonviolent people. So was Robert Downey Jr., so was Sean Penn. They, 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 same task, right? So we ended up um, doing Chicago first and uh, we since then have followed people and success rate is insanely good. So basically what happened was uh, one guy's got his own, our two people have their own barber shops now. One girl went back for her degree. What was yeah, the- Going to cooking school, she become a cook. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, that, that's So you, you don't only, you know, you follow them, you talk to them in prison, you, you see what they're doing afterwards, yeah. but you also go back and tell the story of what was going on before, because, you know, the networks say they want drama, yeah. but I think the reality is life has its own drama. It, it's its own story, and it can be really beautiful right. and really telling and, and almost... You know, while you can't excuse certain behaviors, right. you can explain them. And yeah, I think that's right. what y'all are trying to well, do. It's the trauma that happens. Most of these kids, it happens when they're 12, 14 years old. And this is the product when they're adults. And what they don't understand is this trauma, they don't know how to deal with it all. And so we get, we get people out on the streets that are using drugs, that are committing crimes, because they just don't, they're not taught properly. They don't know how to deal with their emotions. They don't know how to deal with life in general. So they need to be, you know, go through trauma therapy. They need right. to help in order to be in society. And, it's and about are those programs available in prison? Some, Some, they're coming. They're coming, hopefully through this, this will be a thing where people will go, hey, these are human beings, and we can help them if we have these programs installed in the prisons. Because it's corrections, right? When are they being corrected? Never. So right. we it's want to correct. And, and if, if you aren't corrected, you know, if you make these mistakes in your life, which I think that's the most relatable thing, right, is that everybody makes mistakes. Everybody right. can everybody. maybe see a little of themselves. Even if they didn't make those exact same mistakes, they can maybe see a little of themselves when you humanize yeah. uh, these prisoners. Yeah. They're not just people, you know, not just things in orange suits. They're people. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, it's, and it's, yeah. when you when you bring a human element to it, that allows folks to kind of identify with it and be a little bit more sympathetic. Yeah, that's right. So it's like anybody else, like I was saying, all your celebrities, 75% of them have screwed up one way or another, right? You just don't hear a lot of it because they got good PR, they got great agents that cover things up. And, but then all of a sudden we're seeing like years down the road, some, a lot of stuff comes out, right? So they never obviously got their therapy they needed, right? And it's like, sneaking up on them now. These people, right from the get-go, that's what they're doing inside. And it, it, like in Chicago, they had to go through this intense study course. For I mean, they years. actually have to do homework. Yeah. And, and you I, believe it helped. Yeah, exactly. No, I mean, if you watch the, the first show, there's, um, they had to do homework. If you didn't do homework, they kicked them out of the program. It's very strict. And I think that's what it's about, discipline. As long as you have discipline in life, in anything, you're gonna make it. And for some of these people, every one of them don't come out and, and make it. There's, there's a few that don't, but. And y'all show that as well. Yes, yeah. yes. But the thing about it is, is if you stay away from the people and the rigmarole that were out there when you were out there and got in trouble, you're pretty much gonna be a success rate 
if you focus on positive and stay away from that. Surround yourself with exactly. positive people. Don't fall back stay, into the same traps exactly. you did before. Uh, where can folks find this? Because I think a lot of people are going to be interested. So we're up on Tubi uh, for free, and we're on Amazon Prime. We're on Revil. It, pretty much every apple apple yeah. so we're we're everywhere yeah all right thank y'all so much for thank joining you. us this morning thanks for coming to new orleans thank Appreciate you it. Yeah. thank you